Hi everybody! Hi! Welcome back to the Blah Blah Bean. It's a vlog, blog, Instagram, YouTube page uh, where you follow our daily adventures in Lyon and France and throughout Europe. So welcome back. This is vlog number five. Yep, vlog number five. Yep, and so if you don't know already, it's a video where we basically just debrief what we did that past week. Um, and so, yeah, this, uh, this past week, we just went to Paris and we didn't do a whole lot too much, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> a whole lot of too much. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna tell you about our week. So, we were planning to leave for Paris on Tuesday. So Monday was more of just a lazy day. Um, we went to the grocery store, uh, got some essentials there before we were leaving. And we decided to get a fried chicken, rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make dinner a little easier. Yeah. The next morning we woke up um, and we had to wake up early because uh, we had to catch a train that was leaving from Lyon to Paris. So we had to get on the bus. At take, like 5.30. Yeah, like 5.30. Take the metro to the train station and yeah, we hopped on the train and surprisingly it was a little, a little cold. Yeah, and it was also surprising how easy it was considering all the troubles traveling we've had in the past recently. Especially with trains. Yeah. Yeah, but it was really easy, just uh, we found our gate, I guess you would call it. Yeah, our port. port. Yeah, something. Hopped on, um, and nobody was really, there wasn't really anybody on that train. Yeah. In our car there were just a few other people, so. Yeah, and uh, our car ended up being, uh, it didn't have any heating, so we decided to move to the next car. Um, where there was not really many people either. Mm -hmm. And the train ride was good. It was about five hours long. Yeah, went by pretty quickly. Uh, we both slept most of the time. And so we got there at 11. We couldn't check into the Airbnb till noon. So we decided to walk to our Airbnb from the train station. And it was about a 50 minute walk. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, carrying our backpacks and stuff. So yeah. um, we were pretty tired by the end of it. But we managed to stop by one of the largest cemeteries in Paris, which is saint Maître Père de la Chaise. Um, it's actually, a lot of it's commemorating the victims from the World War One. World War One. Yeah, from World War One. It's a uh, there's this really cool monument um, that stands outside of the cemetery with all the names of the uh, soldiers who died in World War One in Paris. And there's about ninety four thousand names on that memorial. So just uh, pretty crazy. Very cool memorial. And another interesting thing about the cemetery is that it's still active. So. They actually have funerals there currently, which is interesting considering it's such a large tourist attraction. <laughs> All right, and then after we got to our Airbnb, um, it was definitely cozy, very small, so probably the size of a large bathroom with a bed over top of it. Yeah. So pretty cozy. Uh, after we got there, we went to the grocery store to get some snacks, and then we went to a park nearby which is actually one of the largest parks in Paris, um, called Parc des Vues Um And it's actually built on top of a quarry, which is why it's really cool. It has all these different levels in the park, and uh, it actually has kind of an island with a lookout viewpoint on it, which is really cool. Yeah, the park was really nice. It was good to relax, and there's really cool water features around the area. Along with the waterfall. Yeah. Um, and then after the park, we decided to go out and get some dinner. Went to dinner at this small little cafe. Um, it was really good food, a lot of people there. It was funny because every five minutes the lights would turn off. Um, and there was really no specific reason why, but other than that, <laughs> it was a really good cafe and everybody there was really nice. And yeah. After the dinner, we took a little walk and we found a outlook that you could see the Eiffel Tower from. And that was really cool. Okay, so the next morning we decided to go see the Basilica Sacré-Cœur and it took us about 50 minutes or so to walk to the Basilica and it was really nice because once we got to the top, we came around the back side um, so there weren't a lot of people there and you could hear a cello playing off in the distance which was really nice. Mm And as we were listening to the cello player, uh, Lindsay could figure out the songs that she was playing. And we think maybe that celloist had 
like the same music as you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the same Suzuki books that I had because yeah. she was playing all the same songs that I knew. So it was really nice just to see that and hear that at the same time. And you go around to the front of the Basilica and it was just tourist city and there's a lot of people there. And um, But it was a really nice church, really mm-hmm. beautiful. It's huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it had a beautiful look out of all of Paris, mm-hmm. um, which is really cool to see because you could look over and be like, oh, there's the Louvre, oh, there's Notre Dame. Like, you could see all the sights, which was cool. Yeah, it was very nice. And uh, this is a huge, huge church, very big. And inside you go in and it just is up 150 feet and it's very wide, very big. And it had all of these cool paintings and uh, it was very, very something to see, huh? Yeah, it was really cool. And following that, we went down to a Prasley um and got some coffee and a beer and we got to look up at sacre Coeur from uh, the bottom which was really cool that was very we got cool. the window and just see the cool basilica at the top directly following that we went to a christmas market uh it was nice to finally see one after waiting such a long time to finally see a christmas market after that we walked back to our airbnb grabbed some things and we headed out to the concert yeah, and then before the concert, we went to a Turkish restaurant. Um, the food was really good. It was actually really fancy, and we weren't expecting that. Mm. But we had a good meal, and then we ended it with some baklava. Yeah, it was delicious. After that, we went to the concert, which was just down the block, uh, to the Nina Nesbitt concert. One of my favorite artists, so it was nice to see her um, in Paris. And she tried to speak a little bit of French, but she didn't really know any. So that was very heartwarming. Walked home. So the next day after our Lingoda classes again, we headed down to kind of the main touristy area of Paris and we went to the Tuileries Christmas Market, which was really nice. Uh, just before we went to Musée de Franchery, which is famously known for housing the Monet water lily, water lily paintings. So that was really nice to be able to see some really famous artwork by Monet called Monet along with Rousseau, Matisse, and even Picasso. Yeah. And Monet originally designed his artwork to be a form of meditation. So they really encouraged people within the building, in the room that the artwork was displayed in, to not really talk very much. So there were some people kind of talking, so it took away a little bit. It was very nice. So after the exhibit, we walked around uh, Paris just a little bit in that touristy area, and traffic was very bad. Um, it was so bad that it kind of made walking a little difficult, which is weird to say, but... Mm-hmm. Just tons of people. Yeah, so we ended up just going back to the uh, area our Airbnb was at, um, and we went to a bakery to get some sandwiches. Got some sandwiches, ate, uh, then after that we walked to a cafe and got some hot cocoa. Mm-hmm. Went home, back to our Airbnb, and we found a friend, it was a cockroach. <laughs> Named it Stevon. Stevon. <laughs> Stevon le Crocot. <laughs> yeah, uh, a little unexpected. We won't be staying there again. Mm-mm. So the next morning we woke up, um, had our class, some breakfast around the area of the train station. We got onto the metro, and the funniest <laughs> thing happened is uh, the train was about to take off. The door started closing, <laughs> and this guy, you could see him sprinting, he runs in. And he like, as he's going through the door, he hops and he ends up hitting his head on the like door frame of the, of the Metro. It looked like it really hurt. It looked like it hurt. Like it would have brought like tears to your eyes (laughs) and like maybe that like pinching feeling in your nose. (laughs) Yeah. The funny thing was, is he didn't rub his head at all. Yeah. You could tell he was probably like, that really hurt, but I'm not going to move. If I don't rub my head, no one saw it. Yeah. (laughs) So. I. I didn't, I really tried not to laugh. I don't think I did. Laughing at someone's pain is horrible. <laughs> so, just like... so the train ride went pretty smoothly. Um, the only annoying part was that there were a few people that were coughing a lot without covering their mouth. We were sitting in our seats and a person in front of us would be coughing, a person next to us would be coughing, yeah. a person behind us, like all at the same time. So it was kind of gross. Made it to Lyon. Uh, at the train station in Lyon, it was packed. There were so many people. Mm-hmm. Um, even the train docking into Lyon, it 
was delayed because there's just so much train traffic, I guess. Mm -hmm. And when we let, uh, got off the train, there were so many people. It was kind of overwhelming of how many people were there. There was even a reporter that we were might have been in the background of. We might have been in the background <laughs> of the like... video. <laughs> exactly. Um, after that, we got on our bus and we were very tired and we sat down on the bus. And there was this kid who was whining. Oh, yeah. There's this little girl or this little baby or something was whining and it like was crying and it started to like cry and go up a pitch. And then all of a sudden at the same pitch, the ticket reader went off. So it was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so me and Lindsay both looked at each other and we, we literally thought we, we were, were like having a stroke or like in a dream or something. But after we got home, we dropped our bags off and went to the grocery store since we had nothing to eat at all. Mm -hmm. And the next day would be Saturday, which would be really busy at the grocery store. Yes. Um, so we got groceries, went home and it was a good trip. Successful. Yeah. Yeah. And then on uh, Saturday, we just had a mall day, went to the mall. And it's packed at the mall on Saturdays. It seems like every time we go there on the weekend, it's like Black Friday. You would think right. it was Black Friday. But it is nice because the mall's decorated and Christmassy stuff, which Definitely. is really fun. Uh, we went back home and we just cozied up because it's been really cold lately and we watched a Christmas movie and had some cocoa. And then Sunday was kind of a lot of the same, just kind of hanging out since it was really cold outside. We tried to watch The Christmas Story 2 that's bad. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but it's very cheesy. We actually didn't finish it. We're working on it. But. And that's about all we did on Sunday. It was a bit of a lazy day, and that's a recap of our whole week. So thanks for tuning in. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with when we post videos. Yeah, and if you think someone else would like this video, share it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, thanks for watching the Blah Blah Bean. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.